a lot of people uh, have have negative um, images of of, of antidepressants. Um, uh, there's a lot of, uh, of negative media out there about antidepressants. A lot of it uh, is not accurate. Um, you know, people can get some side effects from antidepressants, like they can with any medication, but, but uh, many of those side effects uh, can uh, and usually do go away after uh, one to two weeks as the body and the brain kind of gets used to it. Um, but I think there's unfortunately still a stigma associated with taking an antidepressant, even though in the general population, the, the rates of antidepressant use are uh, increasing over time. Antidepressants are, are not addictive, uh, and um, they do take, often take several weeks to get their full effect. So it's very important that people take the, uh, the medication every day, and once they do start to feel better, often in a few weeks, they should continue to take the medication even if they uh, are feeling better. And what antidepressants do is they, they help to rebalance the, those natural chemicals in the brain uh, called neurotransmitters uh, to a more natural uh, state and, and by doing so uh, can help, uh, help their mood uh, get back to, um, back to normal. What we usually do um, in people with uh, a brain injury um, or any other kind of injuries to the brain um, like a stroke or, or, um, or other injuries is that we usually try to start at relatively low, lower doses and, and go up uh, at a slightly slower pace than, uh, than what we would do with people without a brain injury. And when you do that, you know, what, what we would call start low, go slow, uh, people generally do tend to tolerate the medications pretty well. There are uh, a number of patients who would prefer not to take a, an antidepressant, uh, partly uh, because they're already on a lot of medications. Sometimes people who've had a brain injury are on um, pain medications, sometimes even seizure medications. So it's understandable that some people might not want to take another medication and would prefer uh, counseling, for example. And so, again, it's very important that patients you know, and their families uh, really be um, a, a close partner in the decision-making process of, you know, what are the best options, the best approaches for them in uh, dealing with their depression.